Hello friends, how are you all? Well, we can't ignore Photoshop and we certainly can't ignore the power of shapes in it. They are awesome too. They are used in all aspects of branding. For example, they are used in uh, making brochures uh, these uh, wavy shapes all these kind of curvy shapes abstract shapes as you can see uh, all these fancy shapes they are used in visiting cards uh, and uh, again this is a beautiful design of a visiting card all these shapes you see all these projects are made with the help of the shape tool inside of the Photoshop and today we will go deep into it and we will see how it works how we can manipulate it to create all these awesome looking designs and uh, abstract shapes they are so beautiful and they go a long way in enhancing the looks of the overall project so shapes are truly powerful tool and uh, how can we do that for example let's discover the power of shapes by analyzing this graphic here now this is quite a complex graphic and you might think that uh, it can't be made without the use of pen tool uh, in pen tool we have to go on like this and make it a curve and follow on but it's it's too tough it's too tough it takes a lot of time so what's the better way we create rectangle by going to shapes rectangle tool and we draw a rectangle and then we rasterize it and then we go to color overlay give it any color of your choice and then we have to type an alphabet over it how to get those curves? Suppose I type S. Font name is AR Boni. And uh, let's make the color white. And you enlarge it. And you rotate it 90 degree. Put it down. Scale it you see it starts to give you very interesting results now once you have made this shape we can save it as a custom shape now select it crop it and let's save it as a jpg file let's say test one now you close it you close this also open. let's open this you got this amazing good looking shape one shape is on top and one shape is this teardrop sort of shape below now how to make two shapes out of this shape we will open the layer lock and we will select the magic wand tool we have selected this upper part of the shape and uh, go to path and go to work path 
so here is the work path the work path is ready and you select right click and define custom shape and name it my shape one okay and then you choose this shape the magic wand tool is selected go to path and go to this option make work path from selection so your selection right click and define custom shape my shape 2 ok now you can open a new document a4 size ok press u keyboard shortcut for custom shape go to the shape scroll down and here it is this is your it became your header you can choose any style choose color overlay this is fine and we can make a duplicate copy drag it down go to edit transform path flip horizontal and this so you created a beautiful looking it can be a brochure or letterhead or you can make a visiting card or anything and uh, using this technique I made many shapes many shapes and this shape oops this shape was made all these you know triangles going on these sort of triangles they are not made with pen tool they are made like so this is a rectangle you just draw a rectangle with the help of the shape tool and this is the letter A this is the letter A and the font name is Consolas so what I did was I enlarged it rotated it and made it quite big to give it the form of a triangle so one triangle here one triangle here one triangle here now if I want to make a custom shape out of it I'll crop it to size I will save it as a test image I'll close it I will open the test image using my magic wand tool I select it uh, go to path go to work path and then pressing A uh, define shape so my shape to similarly and go to layers I will select this triangle now and go to path work path a find custom shape my shape two and so on so this is how I can keep on saving my shapes and use them in one whatever way I like it see so the list is endless with all these shapes I 
all these shapes I created using the same technique that I showed you so I hope you learned something new in this tip trick tutorial whatever you like to call it and you can make many amazing fancy shapes just by inserting a rectangle and over overlaying a white text or any other color text that has to match with the background of the document I hope you liked it thank you have a good day